scream button is now or never. <laughs> uh, we're live according to YouTube. Hello, Internet. Can you hear us? Yes, welcome to the very first Bumblecast Gaming Live. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty good here. We're only 15 minutes late. We are, and I'm not 100% sure we're coming through. You'd think I'd have some and, doubling audio at this point. And we're not playing... We're not playing the game that we ah, were going to play. Ah, there we are. Yes, yes. It takes a minute for it to start up. But yes, we're here! And we're not playing the game we were going to play. <laughs> Pretty much everything we had planned just went out the window in a screaming, fiery mess. So, welcome! Yes! To well, the inaugural bowl train wreck that is Bumblecast Gaming Live. Well, you know what? It wouldn't be a live stream if things didn't go south very quickly. Yes, like geese fleeing. <laughs> fleeing to warmer climates. Let me see if I can make the game a little bit quieter, because it is loud, even at minimum volume in-game. There we go. So, can... so we appreciate your patience, everybody. Um, and you know, sit back, relax. Kyle's going to take us through the latest update to the Shovel Knight saga. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going. I'm going to. I'm only going to play through the original campaign. I'm not going to play Spectre of Torment. No spoilers. No, because I haven't. I haven't played it yet. And so I'm going to like be like, what do I do? How do I play this? Unless you really want me to. If you really want me to, Ian, I'll do it. But. I haven't no, even no, played no, no. it yet. Familiar. Familiar. I haven't even played it yet, so... I mean, I, I've never claimed to be any good at this game to begin with, so... But... I mean, this was one of the first games we started, uh... One of the first games we talked about on the show... When we yeah. first started. So, it's been kind of with us... For the whole time. Uh, yeah, just sho classic Shovel Knight. Uh, let's see, what's our name? Bumbly. There we go. We're Bumbly. Uh, Jennifer R. and Mike B. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Hey, guys. Wow, sweet. Uh, I'm glad people showed up. So, you know, going forward, we're going to try to have the stream regularly at Fridays at 10 p.m. 10, <laughs> 10 p.m. Eastern. Yes. And now you see why we record most things, because we can cut out <laughs> that kind of nonsense. But that kind of nonsense is fun, Ian. I don't know, some people it like is. it. It is. It can be. I like I like the live thing. I've done the live thing for many years. It's fun. Then you can have people make fun of you while you're uh, trying to play through a video game. This is also true. Well, yeah. Is there any other way to play a video game? Competently? No. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I also like how I apparently need three screens just to play this game right now. <laughs> Except I don't need three screens to play a game. I just have three screens to monitor everything going on because this is it's modern technology. It's like internet streaming. Yeah, one for the game and one for the, I'm assuming the stream and chat. What's the third one? For? Uh, the third one, let's see. On one screen, I have d d the Discord to chat with you. And YouTube, ah. the YouTube uh, streaming page open to monitor that. The other, <laughs> the other window has uh, my browser is still open in that one, uh, but it also has the chat and um, let's see, it has the chat and the stream. It has uh, open broadcaster open in it and uh, volume controls. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I need all this stuff open, but I do, dang it. It makes multitasking easier. Yes. So that you can task multi. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah. Or you can play racing games with triple screens, which, I mean, really, that's, just showing off. that's what it's really for. I mean, come on. 
Gotta go for that surround gaming thing. Oink. Hop on bubbles. Oh man. So as Kyle gets his shovel on, how you doing tonight, chat? Yeah, what's up guys? All you people who are in there. Are you are you having fun? Are you hanging out? I hope you're having fun. This is like they stole this from Mega Man. Stole? They stole or the whole they better. stole they stole the whole game from Mega Man. <laughs> and Zelda 2. And Castlevania. Yeah, but none of those were quite this pretty. This is Oh yeah, oh, well this is a pretty game. <laughs> Yeah, that's very true. They tried their best to stick to the NES limitations. Uh, they didn't quite pull it off a hundred percent, but they got pretty dang close. And uh, you can play the soundtrack on an actual NES, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can't play the game on an NES, though. Sadly. Jennifer wants to know if you shovel well. Uh, I don't know. You be the judge. <laughs> I'm taking that as a Mystery Men reference. It might be. To which I say, it is it is his God-given ability. I have not seen that movie in years. And, we, well, decades, I think. And I think we own it. So, I don't know what my excuse is. It was way ahead of its time. If it came yes. out today, I think it would have been received a whole lot better. Yeah, from... That's what I kind of remember about it and have heard. Is that it was... Uh, definitely a more modern style superhero movie than what was coming out at the time. Um... Kind of like how nobody appreciated Last Action Hero in its time. I've never seen that. I should get around to it at some point. I don't know if anybody appreciates Last Action Hero now, but... <laughs> Except one person. <laughs> uh, actually, it, it's... It kind of flew over the heads of people at the time, but it was definitely like a satire on action movies. But uh, people at the time didn't get that, and they just thought it was bad. And, <laughs> well, I mean... I guess it kind of would be bad if you thought it was bad, but I, I don't know. I thought it was entertaining. We've got Fritz here. He's done streaming. He's watching with us. Hi, Fritz. What's Welcome up? Welcome back, Sam. What, what, are you, what were you streaming? What were you playing? Were you playing a game or were you just streaming something else? I don't know what I don't know what the kids are streaming these days. Do they still stream video games? Is that a thing? Or or did people give up on that and now stream other stuff like eating? See, I would scoff at that, but I guarantee you it's going to happen, and I'm going to feel like a uh, really it, old man, well, not just an old man, but a really old You're man. acting like it doesn't already happen. I think Twitch has an entire channel dedicated to it. To eating? To eating, yeah. Did the video game bubble burst already? Well, maybe. Well, I mean... Twitch is weird. I think the people who... People who watch Twitch and have their favorite streamers. They just kind of want to watch their favorite streamers streaming, regardless of what they're doing. So if yeah, they if, if you can stream them eating, then and people want to watch that, hey, that's cool. That's fine. Now granted, there there's one or two people I've got on Twitch that I would watch, not so much for what they're playing, but them playing whatever it is that they are playing. Right. Don't know if I would want to watch them eat, though. That's just... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. Call me Puritan. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe. I died in the first level. By the way. 
It's horrible. Of eating? I'm a scrub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, in this game. Sorry. Ian, I'm playing a game here. You know that, right? <laughs> I just died. You probably haven't caught up to it yet because you're watching uh, no, no, the stream. No, 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 because I'm watching the stream as it. Aha! There yeah. you go. Yeah. There you go. No yeah. bones about it. Yeah. But no, I did die in the first level of eating, too. I'm fine now. I got better. I gotta say, talking and playing sin a game is hard. Fritz. Uh, do you want me to call you Sin Fritz? Sin Fritz? The whole thing? Sign Fritz. What is your preference? Uh, says that he's been playing the closed beta for Marvel Heroes Omega on the PS4. Huh. Is that... What kind of game is that? I'm curious. Is that like a... MMO or... Something else? I've not heard of it myself. I haven't heard of it either. Mike B informs us that uh, Twitch's diversifying portfolio has uh, seemed to come from Amazon buying them, so it's really the fault of the man. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. They also have opened up... I mean, they have the eating channel, but they also have... Um, like art streaming, an art yeah, stream, can, an art yeah, streaming, yeah, an art streaming channel, which is really awesome, actually. You know, just for people who are doing digital drawings or even like pointing a camera at their pad and paper. Uh oh, it's Black Knight. Apparently, they're going to be streaming Carl Sagan's Cosmos starting on Monday. Oh, cool. Interesting. I have actually not seen that version. <laughs> he laughs funny. I completely forgotten that the update for Shovel Knight came out today, so I'm gonna have to boot that up later and oh, it's been out for... some specters. It's been out for a while. I just haven't played it yet. It's a, I, I, by a while, I mean like a week. <laughs> Well, for no. the Wii U version, uh, sorry, for the Switch version, the Wii U version came out today. Oh, just today for the Wii U version? Yeah. Okay, the PC version, the PC version oh, and bad. stuff has been out for a while. Yes. Yeah, so no, I all it of us it be part of the master race. It launched. Um, it launched on Switch with the Switch. It was a launch game. Yeah, so, including Spectre of Torment, but it was a timed exclusive. Thankfully. Although the Switch <laughs> really is some more exclusive games right now. Well, it has Breath of the... No. Uh, no, it's not exclusive. It'll have Mario Kart... Uh... To be fair, um, the Wii U <laughs> did not sell too well. So I'm expecting that Mario Kart 8 will do a lot better on the Switch than it did on the Wii U. And it's still... Mario Kart 8's still, like, the top-selling game on Wii U, but... I'm so a little nettled, though. I went full whole hog on the DLC, and probably I'm not going to get the Switch-exclusive stuff, like the Inklings, because I, there's no way I can justify full game cost to essentially pick up maybe 20 bucks worth of DLC that's on disc. It's... I can't do it. Right. You can't do it. Right. Well, maybe. So, uh, St. Fritz is answering your question. He says Marvel Heroes Omega has an element of MMOs in it since it's an online and it has a few other elements. But it's also a brawler and you go around and beat up criminals and supervillains. Huh. Interesting. I'm guessing you play as Marvel characters. Would be my assumption. Unless you create your own character, but. There aren't many superhero games left that do that. <laughs> no, not since City of Heroes died off. Well, there's also... Um, Champions Online is still around for the two people left that still play it. <laughs> it's a good game, but... It's two of them, it's still Champions, plural. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a good game, but it's it's just... 
nobody even plays it. And there's DC Universe Online, which, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with the, with that. The character creation wasn't that great, and I don't know. I haven't played it in a while though. They might have updated it to make it a little bit better. So, uh, here we are in the town. It's town. It's like Zelda 2. You didn't bury your fire, you hooligan. Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> now the whole forest is going to burn down. You're welcome. Anyway. What happened to serve and protect? Turn in your shovel. You're a loose <laughs> troweler. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, it, it's Shovel Knight. He's in, in such a hurry to save the world that he he didn't have time to put his fire out. Balderdash, so. Shovel Time would make time. He yeah. is a true and noble knight, sir. Yes. So, here's the composer for this game. It's Vert. It's Jake Kaufman himself, right there. He's in the town, chilling he out. He doesn't look like a bad man. No, it's weird. He really doesn't. He's a very good man. Anyway, it's kind of weird. His his um his status in the game now is kind of pointless, like his use in the game because uh they added a sound test. <laughs> With the uh, with the new update, there's a sound test now, so uh, yeah, you can just go and listen to all the music in the sound test. Yeah, but you could also make him dance happily, and that's important. Well, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah, that's probably more important. So Fritz follows up with, you do play as Marvel superheroes, and he was testing out the Incredible Hulk and Deadpool, but you can also play as other characters like Thor, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and uh, there's a roster of 38 Marvel heroes. Wow. And that's not even like a third or like a <laughs> fifth of the entire Marvel superheroes cast. No, but that's probably But that's a pretty ones. that is a good a good sign, so and then some. Yes. So here's Mona. She plays a really big part in um Plague Knight's uh playthrough. Plague Knight's storyline. And uh she's a really cool character. She's probably my favorite character in that story. I love the fact that she's such a minimal sprite in this game. And then when you come to this room as Plague Knight, it's like, whoa. Yeah. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you play as Plague Knight, uh, this room is very different. And there's a lot more involved with, uh, with Mona. She's like, in this part of the game, she's just kind of sitting there chilling out at her desk not doing anything uh, she has a lot more a lot more stuff to do in uh, Plague Knight's campaign she has more chemistry with the main character you might say yeah ah! <laughs> come back and get, come back if you get bored again <laughs> All right, that's good enough. I'm not gonna sit here and waste time playing through that. I so, can't remember. what is it you get for that mini game? Uh, treasure, just money. Okay. Generally. Uh, let's see. I need to talk to this guy, and he'll give me a meal ticket. Yes, there we go. I gotta remember to do things. <laughs> Talking and playing a game at the same time can be difficult. <laughs> I already have enough trouble talking. Now I'm just throwing in trying to play a game and I'm just getting confused. And I'm like, I'm. <laughs> I sit. I, some of you might have noticed I sit here. I was sitting there for a little while not doing anything while talking. 
because I was talking. So I was trying to focus on talking, and the game is just sitting here. <laughs> I would like... offer to swap out, but as uh, we learned, as we tried to get the stream up and going, my machine can't really handle Yeah. Much. I... Yeah, we're thinking about figuring out if we can... Uh, get in a computer upgrade or something is uh your uh your computer was struggling a bit to play super nintendo games i which, mean granted this is like a which is a problem of the barrel bargain machine to check email and run word processor right so it, but I mean, I was playing Super Nintendo games on my 166 megahertz computer uh, from Hewlett Packard back in 1997, so it should be able to handle it. Yeah, well, you're a special and unique snowflake. You know I am that? not. No, not in the least. I'm just saying. I mean, maybe your phone could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just thought of that. I just thought of that. There is, uh, RetroArch does exist for <laughs> phones. <laughs> ah, that's actually... <laughs> is there a way to stream off of, uh, Android? Cause well, I mean, I'm doing, the, up. I'm doing the streaming. So you just have to do net play with me on the phone. I think that would work. Yeah, we'll give it a shot for next week. We can try that, because, yeah, now that I think about it, just, it'll be, a, it'll be on a small screen, but hey. I think you would even be able to sync your PS4 controller up with it, though. Spoiler alert, that's what 10 minutes of the technical difficulties was, just the bloody <laughs> controller on. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys were wondering, we were going to play uh, Turtles in Time tonight together, both of us. But uh, we had some issues. So have uh, have you played Turtles in Time before, Ian? I feel like I have way back in the day. And I can't remember if it was the console version or if it was the arcade version. Hmm. Well, they're both almost the same. The Super was Nintendo. Say, was there any real difference between the two? Because I want to say the console version was pretty faithful. It is. It's actually better um, in pretty much everything except graphics. Uh, even then, it still looks good. It's just not quite on the same level. It's close. But uh, the main differences are some added levels in the Super Nintendo version. And uh, four player simultaneous instead of just two. Okay. And but uh, the Super Nintendo version also adds fighting, like a two player versus mode, and uh, some other stuff, minimal stuff. But the um, the arcade version. The arcade version in Turtles in Time is kind of weird because of the uh, of the way the levels transition. There's a point in the game where you go back in time, obviously, yeah. and uh, in the I hate this part. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to focus. Run! Yeah, this part is uh, it's dark. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go, maybe. I might have done it. I did it! Yay. Anyway, so... The, uh... The thing that changed... There's a point where you go back in time, in Turtles in Time, of course. And, um... In the arcade version, it just kind of happens in the middle of a random level. Whoops. <laughs> That was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb of me. Uh, it happens in the middle of a level. Just randomly. In the middle of a sewer level. Um, 
while in the Super Nintendo version, it happens while you're in the Technodrome, which makes a little more sense. Because, I mean, the Technodrome would have, it should at least have the technology in it somewhere to, you know, let you uh, travel in time. Now, but not I just in the middle of the sewers the, for uh, no reason. The 3D remake version. The 3D remake version? Uh, yeah. we, we try to ignore that and pretend it doesn't <laughs> exist. I, I think I know why, because I seem to remember it seemed very lacking compared to... Uh, you know, it looked pretty. It was fun, but it seemed like it was, lack it was missing a lot of content. Uh, it's based on the arcade version, so it's not missing content so much as it's just... It just doesn't have the same content as the Super Nintendo version that most people are familiar with. But uh, okay. they also changed the music completely. Oh, um, which to you is and a problem. Which, which to me... Now, it's not a problem if the music is good. I don't have a problem with changed music if it's still good. Like, the Guilty Gear games have different music in different regions. Which is fine, because they're both really good soundtracks. But the uh, Turtles in Time remake? Uh, the music sucks. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really bad. It's, it's just this generic kind of electronic stuff. It's, it really just doesn't have the character of the original. The original music was just based on... Like... The original music is based heavily on the uh, cartoon theme song. Right. For a lot of them, a lot of the songs, they have at least a little reference to the uh, the uh, uh, main refrain. The, you know, the little riff. But uh, they don't. Uh, they don't have any of that in the uh, remake. So. Well, they changed some of the bosses, didn't they? I. Uh, I think you're right. I think they changed, um, yeah, they changed Slash into the, the Mudman guy who I can't remember the name of right now. <laughs> um, and I think they changed some other stuff, but that was also, um, the arcade game. That was taking stuff from the arcade game, so, uh, the Super Nintendo game changed some of the bosses, and, yeah. So, most of the changes in that remake were reflective of the arcade version. I <laughs> Ooh, save that one. Almost sunk the platform for good. That would have been fun. It wouldn't have been fun. Although I may have just screwed myself now, but we'll see. Don't get too nervous, but we're up to a solid four watchers at this point. Wow, that's pretty good for for uh, streaming exclusively to our patrons. Hi, patrons! You're awesome. Uh, don't worry, we'll be uh, we'll we'll have this out, of course, on the main stream when uh, in, in probably a week or so. We do still have one more episode of the regular Bumblecast gaming that we've been doing, but. After that, we will start releasing the live streams. Well, you guys get uh, exclusive viewing of them first. So, welcome! Will the final flight of FTL end in tragedy? Or will we actually <laughs> succeed? I don't I even know. know. Is that game winnable? Can you beat that game? Have you, have you? I have seen people say it. I have gotten to the final encounter and lasted more than two minutes. But beyond that, I don't know. Huh. I kind of thought it it just went on forever. That would have been my thought. I don't know why I would think it would just go on forever, but it just seems like that kind of game. I kind of got burned out on it when I was really, really close to unlocking one of the special ships. Mm -hmm. And the RNG really messed me up with the placement of where I needed to go. Like, I think I had to go back a whole screen, which just wasn't possible in that build. Ooh. It's like, you know what? Uh, 
I don't think I can do this again. Crap, I really am in a bind here. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I also thought it was going to be crafty because the final boss is just this murder beast of a spaceship. Mm -hmm. And I managed to kill off all the human crew thinking, ha ha, nobody to man the stations. Maybe I have a half second. Speaking of murder beast, Except I just got to the boss. <laughs> Anyway, and, uh, instead of disabling the ship, it went, ha ha, you're wrong. It just engaged all of the AI, and that just made it react even faster and killed me very dead. Well, then, don't do that, apparently. I kind of wish I had the uh, amiibo powers right about now. Have you played Shovel Knight with the amiibo at all? I have not. The last time I tried to get it to activate, I couldn't get anything to go, but that may have been because they haven't rolled out the amiibo functionality yet. Yeah, for some sure. reason, yeah, for some reason they released the amiibo like quite a bit before the uh, they actually patched the game to play with amiibo. But well, maybe it was to ensure that the amiibo circulated enough first because it was the first non-Nintendo amiibo out there. Right. I'm still finding them in stores. There's actually quite a few of them. I think Amiibo... Amiibo popularity has uh, dwindled considerably. So I thought Shovel Knight might have been one of the more rare ones, but I keep seeing them around, so I guess not. Hmm, because I don't think I've ever seen one in the wild. Hmm. Nope, I go into Best Buy and see in there quite often. Well, anyway, what is it that the Shovel Knight Amiibo gives you? Uh, it gives you a new... What it basically does is it unlocks multiplayer, which is going to be unlocked for every version of the game soon anyway. But it also lets you play as a um, custom knight, which has a um, has a different uh, progression for weapons and armor upgrades and stuff. <laughs> it's it's not based on finding stuff or paying paying for items in the game. It's based on... I think it's based on playtime or something. Um, and the more you get... The further you get, the more stuff you unlock. And you also unlock things that are really broken <laughs> that uh, let you do things that normal Shovel Knight can't do. Like, get in uh, the... Um, be able to fly across the screen with a dagger, the Infinite Dagger, and all sorts of other stuff. So it's like souped up versions of the weapons you get from the bosses. And you don't even necessarily have to actually beat the bosses to get them. So yeah, there's some pretty crazy stuff going on there. It's a different way to play through the game. And then and I don't think any there's any amiibo functionality for the added uh, the new campaigns. But that's okay. I tried going back and play uh, Plague of Shadows a little while ago, and I don't know. Part of it is I'm rusty, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. but, I am here too, but I also really <laughs> hate trying to fight this guy. Even when it was out, I felt like Plague of Shadows was almost too complex control wise it is pretty tough to get a handle on um his moveset his moveset is very strange what i do like is it's very faithful to his moves as a boss though sure so, i'm not saying and i'm not saying that as a complaint as right 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 designed or anything because no it's extremely tight it's very well put together it's more of a failure on my end well, no, I, I think it is very... His controls are very complicated, and it's tough to get used to playing as Plague Knight. But I do... Uh, once you get the hang of it, I think it's... It's a lot of fun. So, he's probably my personal favorite uh, of the knights, actually. But they're all so good, I can't choose just one. They've all got really cool designs. I really hate when it gets dark in this freaking boss level. 
should just hit him. <laughs> He's got one hit left. I got one hit left. And now, uh, ah, uh, ah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> this game. This freaking game. This game's hard, Ian. I don't know if you knew that. It is. This game is really but hard. it's fair. I guess. Not this fight. This fight is mean. I don't, like, I don't like this fight. I don't like this boss battle. I never did. It's really hard for the second boss battle of the game. It is, but... I don't know. I've, with, for me, Spectre Knight was about just learning the pattern and not getting too greedy with the hits. He has... The only knight that I really, really, really didn't enjoy was Propeller Knight, but, and everybody hates Propeller Knight. Propeller Knight is worse, I would agree, but Spectre Knight is... Mm, still kind of a pain. <laughs> I really hate when the lights go out. That's really obnoxious. It's almost like he's trying to kill you. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? Doesn't he know I'm trying to save the world? I mean, sure, he's apparently the Enchantress's right-hand man and recruited the rest of the knights because that's what his uh, storyline is about. But still, come on. Doesn't he know? Just trying to save the world. He should know. He's the bad guy. I'm the good guy. That's how these things work. So what you're saying is you expect him to reap what he sows? Yes. Yes, I do. As well he should. After he defeats you, do you think he lets out a scythe of relief? Uh, maybe. Probably. No, I think he just cackles. <laughs> uh, down to one hit for each of us again. Aye. And it's dark. <laughs> I like what Jennifer said in the chat. I hate it when bosses try to kill you when all you're trying to do is save the world from them. <laughs> I know, it's really annoying. It's like, don't they understand? What they want to do to the world is a bad thing. Usually. Sometimes you end up being the so villain. Close. So close. Yeah. Uh, I died. That's twice now I've died when he has one hit left. It's not fair. I'm very sad. But you're getting closer. Yeah, we're closer. Am I really? <laughs> I've <laughs> Twice now I've <laughs> died at the exact same spot. <laughs> the exact same time. Yeah. <sighs> And the thing is, you can't get too mad at it because the music is so good. Right. It's like, oh, oh no, I have to listen to that track again. Whee! <laughs> well, the mu this music is, like, tense. This music makes you, like, holy crap. I'm, 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 I'm gonna die. And, yeah. I mean, it's fitting. I'm sure this is really exciting for everybody watching. Uh, that one was not close. I like how there's no duck. Mm -hmm. Like you can't duck. He just does his little shimmy when you push down. It's, it's funny. It's like, are, are you trying to imply, like, knights couldn't actually duck or something? You know, given how tiny his legs are, squatting down probably takes a bit of effort. Because they probably can't, yeah. Well, there's also the fact that, you know, while wearing full plate armor, your legs probably don't bend that way. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know for sure, but... Man, I suck at this game. I'm terrible. I'm so bad. Why did I agree to do this, Ian? <laughs> because we were in a blind panic because the thing was not going. Yeah, because I couldn't think of anything. Ah, yeesh. 
Okay, what do I have? Can I do a thing? What does this even do? I forgot. I can use this. I keep... yeah, I keep, forgot I have magic items. I don't know if they do anything. I guess I can try and use them. I got the phase locket thing here. And I forget what the Chaos Sphere does. Do you remember what that does again? It says an orb of boundless uh, combat potential. It's something of a random bouncy ball. Oh yeah. Mm, I'll try the phase locket. Uh, Fritz is mentioning Burning Rangers as a good video game soundtrack. Yes! I absolutely agree. It's a great game. Awesome soundtrack. But I mean... You're going to give me a soundtrack with a Daytona guy in it? I'm there. So. I wonder what a modern take on Burning Rangers would do, because it's kind of a weird game. Yeah. What's up? I haven't played much of it, sadly. This is like I mean, fire. fire. I mean, in essence, it's a third-person platformer shooter. Right, where you play as firefighters. But you shoot fire. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's funny because you're a, you're you're a group of firefighters, but you shoot fire. Or or do you mean you shoot fire? Yeah, I, I see that now. The, the, the little bit of verb confusion there. Uh, the target that you apply your shoot to is fire. Fire. Okay. Yeah, that's what I've thought. Yes. Speaking of fire, um, can I light this guy on fire? <laughs> you do not yet have the fire rod. Fire wand. Whatever it's called. The shoot fire makey thingy. Yeah, I need the amiibo thingy. To get that, have that by now. Uh, random bouncy ball. Okay, well that might actually work. Might do something. When he's down on the bottom. Okay, come on. Go. Come over here. Get over here. Ah, it's too fast. I, I hate when he does that slash thing. He has a sound that he does. He has a lot does. more range than you would expect. Yeah, he... I... That bouncy ball thing is not fast enough. My my hands are sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to play this game. This game's hard. Oi. Boink, boink. Come on. It took me quite a while to beat this guy before. So. Come on. I let out the bounty ball and he just teleports away. Oh, no more bounty ball power. Ian, this is hard. It is, it is. <laughs> I'm trying to be entertaining. You can't be entertaining when we're just seeing the same thing over and over. 
I mean, because you're still gonna have 1800 something gold, uh, might as well move on to. I might. Oh, let's see. King Knight. Yeah, I probably should have gone to him next. He's a lot easier. I say that now, and I'll probably get to him and be like, ah! He's not so bad, it's those bloody magic books you gotta jump on, it always throws me. Yeah. This level's a little wonky. A little surprised that he, of all the knights, was getting the next campaign. Oh, uh, well, that's what they said when they did the Kickstarter. They were doing three campaigns, and those were there. You have the uh, they were gonna do Plague Knight, Spectre Knight, and King Knight, or Queen Knight. If you uh, do the uh, body swap version, did that come with the Spectre of Torment update? Correct. It finally did. Excellent. Uh. Fritz is saying that he doesn't like me. No, he doesn't. But I just beat him, so I, yeah, I don't like him either. <laughs> I did it, Ian. You'll Yay, see it in a go. second. I get to have a dream about uh, Shield Knight falling from the sky again. Nope, okay, never mind. That only happens sometimes. I see you burying that fire when I catch up. I'm vibrating. Okay, I'll, I'll stop vibrating. I don't know why Why? Why was uh, Shovel Knight burning um, treasure under his fire. Why? Why is he doing that? He wanted to cook a rich meal. Oh! I see what you did there. Oh yeah, this is a Mario 3 stuff. Yeah, uh, who's this guy? Let's find out. Oh, it's not a guy, it's just a bonus area. Oi! There's people laughing in the chat. Maybe we should play pay attention to the game instead of the chat. I don't know why I'd do that though. This is this reminds me of like the Mario 3 coin ship. It's just a treasure area. Uh let's see. Let's go and talk to the triple. Oh, nope, not here yet. I never really got to play Mario 3, so... Really? And it's the one I haven't really seen a lot of. Like, Super Mario World I've seen pretty much start to finish. Uh-huh. Of all the original Marios, I think I played Mario 2 the most. I love Mario 2. I know isn't really a true Mario game, but... Yeah, it is. Don't let people... Don't let people, uh... Try to tell you differently. It actually... I think it was conceived as a Mario game, but then uh, Nintendo got the license for a special annual event that happens in Japan, and they reskinned it as using the mascots from that event. Have a good so. night, Mike. Thanks for coming by. Hey, Mike. Yeah, we should play Mario 3 sometime on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we will do that. Oh, uh, in that case, we might just let you play, because you don't <laughs> want to see me playing Mario. It is a sad, sad thing. That's fine. It's fun. It's a good game. Oh, absolutely. Just, I am... I'm bad at it. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice at it. Although I haven't played it in a while. Maybe I'll do that at some point. I'm surprised no one's asked us when we're going to play a Sonic game on the show. Perhaps they think it's a foregone conclusion. 
Maybe. It might happen at some point, I don't know. I don't know what game it'll be. Maybe it'll be like Sonic Schoolhouse. Or Sonic R. Uh, I'd forgotten the propeller rats. Tails Adventure. My Tails Adventure is a good game, thank you very much. It actually is not too bad. <laughs> uh, trying to think of what else. I would give a shiny penny for um, Tails Adventure 2. Sonic Crackers. We should play that. <laughs> or Sonic Studium, as it's sometimes called. <laughs> because, I don't know, reasons. Or we could play Knuckles Chaotix. I actually would legitimately be down for playing Knuckles Chaotix. Yeah, if we can get it to work on my end. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I've never played it two-player. That would make it very interesting. I don't know. Can you play it two-player? I don't know if you even yeah. can. Oh, you can. Huh. Oh, yeah. I've never done that either. I mean, I was an only child, so, you know. I, <laughs> I, there's a lot of games that have two-player that I never realized had two-player. Like the uh, fighting mode in Turtles in Time. I had no clue that even existed until much later. And I played Rose it as a and kid. Not Sonic Labyrinth. You don't want to see that. Sonic Labyrinth. <laughs> not even ironically. <laughs> what about Sega Sonic Arcade? Uh, if we could get it running. I've never even played it. <laughs> or um. It, it, it's basically Panic and Failure of the game. That's yeah. It, it doesn't look very great. Oh, the sprite work is gorgeous. Well, yeah, it looks good. But, I mean, the game itself kind of seems lacking and weird, weird perspective. Granted, Sonic 3D Blast also has that same perspective. I would, I would dare say that uh, Sega Sonic Arcade is a better game than 3D Blast. Really? To me... The frantic running and flailing and trying to live would be more fun than the trying to hit things in the spin dash <laughs> in the isometric view. Am I thinking of Sonic Labyrinth that has an isometric view? Yep, it does too. Okay. Ah, the regal griffin. Yes. You approach it in a majestic voice that says, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then it destroys me. With its fire that somehow arcs up and down? I don't know. I'm confused. It's a very talented griffin. It's very good. It's very good at his job. I don't know what his job is, but it's very good at it. Uh, and we could play Sonic Drift 2. Or Sonic Drift 1, but like... <laughs> Nobody realized existed for a long time. <laughs> it's like that's Sonic Drift 2. What happened to Sonic Drift? That's the original Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Unfortunately, it's also not oh, very man, good. If you get that working, that would have been glorious. Oh man! You know what? Yeah, we, we, we should figure that out. I mean, I could play it on my end, but that's no fun. I want to play with you. I mean, if you capture it off of your screen and I guess see me in the rankings? <laughs> You'd be about 10 seconds behind, so your controller inputs would be lagging horribly. <laughs> oh, it would be rough. Oh, wait, you've got the PC I, version. But I have the PC version anyway. I don't have the uh, 360. Ah, see, I've only got the 360 version. Right. Those aren't compatible. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. I was thinking about getting some uh, capture hardware or something. Which might be nice. That's the point. Um, getting uh, a, uh, Sin says that Sega Sonic Arcade is notoriously difficult to get to run on, on emulator. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Sonic like the Fight. Even among arcade games, it's apparently really tough to get going right. Hmm. 
We can play Sonic the Fighters. That's on 360. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't know what to think about that game. It's glorious. What what, what else are, is there to talk about? <laughs> I don't know. Bean it's just, the Duck. I know, I know. Bean the Dynamite Duck, which I think people don't realize is like a character from another Sega game. Uh, he's a callback to Dynamite Bin Ducks. Bin. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I just the the um the really the stretchy animations are weird. They're neat. They look cool, but they're also kind of weird for a Sonic game. I don't know. It's very cartoony. I think you ad you adapted, um, you adapted Sonic the Fighters better than Sonic the Fighters did itself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But yeah, I, I, you you did. You did. You are not but a decadent dandy. It's a good game. That's a good uh, good line. Prepare today's justice. Shovel justice. Shovel Knight's great. I mean, the character. I imagine King Knight is the kind of guy who would call you a knave and a knight, not realizing that you don't pronounce it right. <laughs> That's probably true. I am King Knight. <laughs> Thou thoughtest I was in service to your lord? <laughs> Nay, it was all just a big facade. <laughs> Why aren't thou laughing? We, cities, we, really, even. we really need a Shovel Knight cartoon. <laughs> so, oh, this this game is ripe for like an ultra marketing push. Like toys everywhere, cartoon. I mean, it, it, it really could use it. <laughs> Be a lot better than doing a cartoon of Mighty Number no. 9. Is that still happening, or did that? I um, have no idea. I, I, I have no idea. I feel kind of bad for Mighty Number no. Nine. <laughs> In a sense. I did play some of it. It's not a bad game. I think people are just disappointed. It is, and it's, from what it's, little I played, a mediocre game. Yeah, it struggles to live up to what it was promised to be and what, I think, what people hyped it up to be. Yeah. So. Standing on its own, it's unremarkable, but... Right. When you factor in what it was marketed to be... Mm -hmm. yeah, no, no, not even close. Yeah, and the hype machine behind it was... Uh, it didn't help. Now this game... I mean, to a degree, to a degree, it's the fans building it up too much, but on the other hand, they really, really pandered to the Mega Man side of things, too, so... Right. They have no one to blame but themselves, and you left the fire unburied again. Whoops. I was in such a hurry, I forgot. Smokey the Bear Knight is going to come after you. <laughs> well, I will just shovel him to death. Let's see. Oh, I can just do this. There we go. I forget. This is not an NES game. I can actually... I actually have bumper buttons. <laughs> and I can just change the items by hitting the bumper instead of, you know, going in a menu. Uh, that's going to wrap us up for our first hour of Bumblecast Gaming Live. Uh, we'll see where we go next week. Same time, same bubble channel. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do something a little more interesting, and if not, well... 
we know this works at least. Right, Cal? Yeah, we'll figure something out. Don't worry. Maybe I'll just play like Daytona USA next time. <laughs> 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 that won't even last a full hour. Thank you, everyone, for supporting us, as always, for joining us on our inaugural episode, Warts and All. Yes. And uh, next episode of Bumblecast Gaming Regular will be out next Monday, and we'll have a potential special guest for the next Bumblecast podcast. Yes. Thank you, patrons, for supporting us all, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming out, guys. Have a good night.